hello everybody. Uh, so first to warn you, this is not the official bag. This is the real one, standing in front of the castle. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and uh, let's start the closing uh, ceremony. Uh, so, uh, uh, as you know, we are at the closing ceremony of the PEP uh, conference 2021, right? Uh, and uh, uh, just for the case, if you expected some other closing ceremony. <laughs> and uh, we'll have a pretty quick and efficient uh, 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 ceremony. So basically, uh, a few slides on the highlights of the conference, right? Um, so, as you know, the conference was uh, fully virtual. Uh, with a search uh, program, collocated events, special tracks, and altogether a uh, pretty amazing 550 hours of program uh, in two weeks, right? The first week was, uh, uh, we had uh, workshops, so 25 workshops, and uh, so hands-on and lecture style uh, uh, tutorials, um, uh, and 23 tutorials, yeah, hands-on and lecture style. Um, uh, I don't see pretty well slides because the sun is so strong, so I just need to apologize. It's a little bit unusual uh, place uh, to uh, give a lecture, right, like, like this. Uh, we had also record number of accepted research papers, so 355, uh, which is also a pretty amazing uh, number, and this, uh, uh, this was roughly 20% uh, acceptance rate. We had also a record number of keynotes, uh, so uh, nine keynotes uh, during the main conference uh, week and uh, altogether 14. Um, uh, and the other uh, five uh, keynotes were during the pre-conference event, uh, which we organized a few weeks before the uh, main conference. And this was uh, also a novelty, right, uh, where we wanted to attract uh, the audience and uh, alert alert that the conference uh, is happening. Now, uh, it's also first time in the history of this conference that we uh, all the videos of the conference are available online uh, on videolectures.net website and uh, the associated uh, videolectures.net uh, YouTube channel. Um, so this includes pre-recorded research paper videos and um, a live video program uh, which was uh, recorded during the uh, conference. So this includes uh, panels and keynotes and uh, uh, opening and uh, closing, basically. Right. Uh, then a few other uh, keynotes. Um, so the main stage uh, program. Uh, this includes keynotes, panels, opening and closing. Right. Was publicly or uh, this closing as well. Right. Are publicly available via YouTube uh, channel. Um, so um, we somehow decided that. Um, Let's say this would be uh, a gift to community, at least to provide some of this uh, part of the program uh, to the audience. Uh, and also we had uh, lowest ever registration fee, uh, which uh, is a kind of necessity these days, um, uh, because there's so many online events and this also attracted uh, so many more people. So altogether, some of the numbers which we collected um, uh, today so 2,843 total participants were watching um, all the conference events. This includes uh, pre-event and main conference and keynotes uh, um, and so on. So these were uh, participants over the platform. Plus on the top of this, we had uh, 2,400 uh, YouTube viewers uh, uh, at the main, uh, at the YouTube, uh, uh, at the main stage, right? So keynotes mostly, right? So this makes us uh, somewhere around 5,000 uh, people, uh, which at least visited the conference site. So we also made a quick statistics, uh, uh, how many uh, participants were on research tracks and on average there were like 35, uh, 35 people in each room, which, uh, which is pretty good number actually, uh, 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 knowing that uh, we had over 70 uh, over 70 uh, 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 research uh, um, uh, sessions, right? Um, uh, then um, this is important number. How many uh, re registered participants we had? 918. This is good number. So this is like 50% higher than the last year. 
um, uh, from 62 countries, and all, out of this, 37 percent students. Um, uh, then uh, we had also special support uh, uh, for participation of students, um, and uh, in addition to the uh, scholarships, right? So we had lots of students on the uh, on the conference, um, and altogether we had also 42 volunteers uh, supported uh, the conference. So this is the, was the background. Uh, um, Hello everyone. Um, Marco appears to be having connection problems. So yeah. Let me I, I got lost. Uh, uh, I repeat uh, the last slides. So we were at video lectures in YouTube, Marco. Aha, uh, video lectures in YouTube. Yeah. Okay. So uh, these are just uh, uh, two. Uh, uh, addresses uh, where you can find the uh, uh, videos from the conference and uh, just the last slide from my side so special thanks to Maria Kumatar our PCO uh, she did amazing work uh, during the last uh, year um, uh, basically taking care of uh, all aspects of the conference coordinating so many things that uh, you know uh, although me and you have we are general chairs but uh, most of the work actually was done by Maria uh, on the organizational side, and of course, uh, our uh, uh, program chairs, uh, 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 Leila, Mark, and uh, G, right? Um, and uh, Alyash uh, model which uh, will appear a little bit later um, as a local chair. Uh, and there are so many more people, but uh, I would still uh, say special thanks. Thanks, and now I'm passing the word to, to Mark. Thank you. Could we have the slide deck? Alyash, I thought you would be presenting the slides. Uh, so, okay. And I guess I have to figure out how to. Uh, Mark, do you need help? I can share my screen and... That would be wonderful. Yep, let me do it. All right. So um, now we're going to um, present the awards of the research track. We have two different flavors of awards. One is for the people um, on the production side and one for the people on the reviewing side. So first we're gonna talk about um, the best reviewer awards. We have two categories of awards, the best PC member and the best senior PC member. Um, our awards were based on both quantitative and qualitative data. Um, 
we looked for POSI members at things like um, the number of reviews that they performed, the length of the review, um, the contribution to the discussion phase, whether or not the reviews were timely, um, but then also at qualitative measures like was the review written in a civil tone? Was it constructive? Did it in in response to the author's rebuttal actually acknowledge the rebuttal and things like that? For SPC members, we mostly looked at the quality of the discussion phase and whether they drove the reviews to come in on time. And then also at the quality of the meta reviews. Um, next slide, please. So we awarded um, 20 best PC member awards and I'm not gonna read out all the names, but please, um, if you find yourself on this slide, then thank you so much. I mean, these were really fantastic reviews. And then in addition to having these best PC member awards, we have another category, the best of the best. Um, we selected five people to, I mean, get this best of the best award. Um, and these were people who wrote, I mean, really, really extensive detailed reviews and it was just amazing feats. Um, moving on to the best senior PC awards. The winners of this are these six people. Um, it turns out there were a number of track chairs who also pitched in because this being a COVID year, of course, some people couldn't meet the commitments. Um, if we were to include track chairs, two of them would have shown up, but they have the honor of being track chairs. Um, so moving right along. Next, we're going to talk about the best paper awards. The process we followed was that the 28 chairs that represented the 12 tracks collectively nominated um, the N best papers of their track, where N was a function of the track size. Remember that tracks ranged from tens of papers to over 300 papers in one track. Um, and then these papers, these, um, I believe there was a total pool of 26 candidates were reviewed by two best paper award chairs, Kerry Radinsky and Ahmed Abadallah. And now I'm gonna hand over to Kira who will announce the winners. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So hi everybody. It was a very uh, hard choice this year. Uh, so eventually we reviewed approximately 26 candidates selected by all of the both SPCs and PCs. All papers were of extreme high quality, but eventually we had to choose the winners. If we go to the next slides. Our winner this year is towards fascinating empathic conversations in online mental health support or enforcement learning approach. We felt the work is gonna have significant impact on the community based on the algorithmic approach, but also the very thorough experiments done in the paper itself. But also during all of this year, this is the direction we felt is gonna bring the most value to the community. Extremely close to this, but a runner-up is heterogeneous graph neural networks via attribute completion, which got an almost perfect score from all of the reviewers and brought a significant contribution to graph neural network research. On the student best paper award, again, reviewed numerous papers, significant hard. The winner this year is Concept Guide, supporting online video learning with concept map-based recommendation of learning path. And the runner-up is auditing for bias in algorithms delivering job ads, which identified different types of biases that we haven't even proved this in a very fair experiment. Congratulations for all of the winners and thank you so much for the hard work. And I just want to add here, um, we will of course, normally would come on stage now, we would hand you a certificate. We will send those in the mail after the conference. So thank you. I believe next up is Arun. Okay, 
Do, do we have the slide for the um, test of time award? Uh, I guess I'll. I'm, I'm seeing if I can share the slide. Uh, I don't have it. Yeah, can everyone see this? Yes. Okay. So, uh, so the um the the test of time award. This is given. Uh, uh, this has been given every year at the web conference since two thousand fifteen. So the conference has has had uh, thirty iterations so far. And in that period, we've only selected uh, seven um, papers uh, out of the many thousands of, of, of um, really groundbreaking papers in all areas of the web. So this is a really significant accomplishment. And the, uh, this year's sole test of time award goes to, the, um, to Carlos Castillo, um, Marcelo Mendoza, and Barbara Poblit for their paper information credibility on Twitter. And uh, this is a, a very important paper which presents a method of assessing the credibility of information propagated uh, via Twitter. And it, 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 um, the paper was groundbreaking in, in a number of ways, uh, certainly in terms of just uh, recognizing the importance of the subject and, and also uh, applying an autom automated approach based on machine learning. And um, to, as the authors describe it, the paper was actually written after a magnitude 8.8 .8 earthquake hit Chile in February of 2010. So uh, the year before, in 2009, a political campaign had increased uh, the popularity of Twitter enormously in Chile. And uh, many, uh, Politicians, journalists, and media personalities all had a significant media presence by the end of 2009. And um, this was really the first time that social media played such an important role in a, in a major disaster there. This was after the earthquake. And uh, there were many massive rumors of looting in the days following the earthquake. And some looting did happen, but not nearly as much as ex expected. So the main research question uh, the authors were interested in, in uh, tackling was whether um, social media had contributed to fears of looting. And in the end, the paper didn't quite end up addressing that, that question. But on the other hand, it, um, it, it really started a line of research on social media credibility that if you look at it today, it's, it's, um, it's bigger than, than it was back then. So this, uh, this was a very prescient paper in in what it presented. So, uh, so big congratulations to, to the three authors of, of this paper. And uh, this, th this is a, this is a, a really si significant achievement. So as Mark said before, if, if we had an in-person conference, we, we'd invite all of the, the authors to the stage to, to accept, accept the award. But, um, but just to, to conclude and summarize this, uh, th this really is a, a very significant achievement, and this uh, paper, as I mentioned, it's uh, one of only seven so far which has which has won the the Test of Time award in the entire history of the conference. Okay, hi. Apologies for that. 
Um, so, um, as I was saying before you heard me, um, so my name is Ali Ashkush Murdal. I am the local organizing, uh, I'm a member, co chair of the local organizing committee. And uh, so the last job kind of falls to me, and this is to say thank you to everyone who uh, contributed to this conference. Uh, as people have mentioned before, this was a huge joint work, and these are our, our greatest thanks to these people who really helped build everything. Uh, these, uh, these are the chairs who have worked basically throughout the year and uh, gone above and beyond uh, in the last week. Some of them staying up all night to, to make sure that everything works is shown. So a great thanks to each and every one of you. Uh, you, you made it possible. Um, now, uh, a great thanks to all of our volunteers. Uh, we had a great team that helped run the sessions that every set had been getting up. Uh, these were students uh, from Slovenia and from all over the world so, uh, and others. So uh, great thanks to you. Uh, uh, Thanks to our families and partners who basically uh, helped us push through this effort uh, and uh, uh, basically uh, were there when we needed support and uh, encouragement. Um, and last but not least, thanks to all the sponsors and partners who uh, uh, contributed. Um, yeah, we, we we were really ha happy and uh, lucky to have all these questions for the conference, and, and they really made uh, the thing possible. Um, uh, oh yeah, and of course we need to say thanks to the participating participating institutions. Um, everything for the from the W three T three who handled the the, uh, the conference. Um, but then from Georgia Stephen Institute, Stanford University, and then uh, UNESCO, the UNESCO Air, uh, International Research Center for AI, the video lectures team, and uh, now uh, uh, I'll give the words to the organizers of the web conference 2022. Um, they have prepared a short video for us to sort of serve as an intro to the conference. Let's see. Hello, everybody. I am Frédéric Laferret from INSA Lyon at Université de Lyon in France. And I'm Raphael Troncy from Eurecom in Sofia Antipolis, south of France. We are general chairs of the Web Conference 2022. That will take place in Lyon on April 25-29. The Web Conference will mostly be proposed online so that everybody in the world can attend the conference. We also prepare for a small-scale on-site attendance facility that will be proposed with sanitary conditions allowed. Exciting! You will enjoy all the usual and popular tracks of the web conference, as well as the regular clock dated events. But we are also cooking some surprises for you on topics like teleworking and telemedicine, esports, and massive online gaming, as well as a dedicated track for the web for good, inclusiveness, and fairness. The web conference 2022 will also be the first ACM, the web conference. The fact of becoming an ACM SIG web conference ensures that it will continue to be a top event and it will remain so for many years. Save the dates in your calendar and follow us at www.2022.thewebconf.org and on Twitter and over social networks to get updates. Okay, thank you. A really great honor and a pleasure for me to be able to. Uh, okay, sorry. Um, thank you, uh, the uh, Lyon team. Uh, see you there next year. And uh, otherwise, this was it. Uh, thank you for your uh, attention. Thank you for attending the conference. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Um, 
uh, we're sorry not to have you here in person, but hopefully you'll visit some other day. And if you do, some say hi. We like it if you say hi. Okay, thank you. And we'll be leaving you with a small video. This part of me you will never see. You will only feel it. to the 40th at conference from Alenka Slavinets, the author of Slovenia and Al Slipitane Horses by Alenka Slavinets. Uh, welcome to see the exhibition and my film, how this was created about the horses and about soul of Lipitane, how, how it was embodied by Spanish and Arab horses in here, in the cradle of Lipitane. This is in Lipica, in Slovenia, where love is in all of us. Welcome, thank you. Dear friends, let me remind you how I have been brought to existence and how I have appeared in mind and heart of the Archduke Charles in times of Habsburg Empire in 1580, when Archduke decided to buy and restore my cradle, the Stad Farm Lipica in today's Slovenia. I have been so privileged to be embodied in such a magnificent land in climate of the karst, embraced by hills with flourishing postures, glamorous trees, refreshing summer shades, sun and winds, vastness of landscape and endless wide wooden fences that make the walls of my home, but not the boundaries of the freedom. Thanks to devoted loving people, owners who cherished our endurance, our suitableness for dressage and carriage driving, we never gave up on breathing ever since. Thank you for welcoming me on May 195080 in Lipica Stad Farm, where the best features of ancient ancestors have been merged into my elegant figure. when I'm born, and I enjoy playful shades of gray until I'm four, when I reach majestic white to present excellency of Lipitan breed. represent the living culture heritage of humanity. Together we make up to 370 members in Lipica Cradle and over 10,000 members all around the world. When I look in your eyes and you look back in mine, we feel divinity, timelessness, peace, oneness of life in past, present and future, where we all exist in presence of love, and there is no other option for you but to surrender your heart to my healing medicine. Who am I becoming in your presence, dear friend? As I become whiter and mature through the years, my competitiveness also fades and turns into affectionate and trusted relationship with you, fellow human. With you to always remember who you are. Tree is the one who feels home in his heart and soul and is not limited by any fences or political borders, which I have experienced from Habsburg monarchy to Italy, Yugoslavia, and today Slovenia in European Union. You inspire me with your uniqueness, calmness, peacefulness, harmony. You inspire me with your glam, pride, wildness, courage, presence, free spirit, resilience, endurance, power, 
curiosity, beauty, playfulness, posing or self-confidence, and belonging to her, loyalty, partnership, joyfulness, dancing, movements. In your presence, doubt, fear, competition, judgments, lack, shame, guilt, simply can't and don't exist. Therefore, you have divine healing powers for a human heart. We are here to open our hearts and resurrect peace, oneness of all nature with humankind and all living beings who shall live in harmony by laws of nature. Lipitsan, you are here to tune me in with my soul, mind, body and heart. You are here to tune me in in my trust, integrity, dignity, respect, humbleness, gratitude compassion, serenity, and sovereignty. With my white, shiny, silky hair, I'm graceful, I'm divine. I'm aware of my Michelangelo card breast and strong legs, which are followed by the sound of my horseshoes beat of my heart. The chair is so deny Peter. Shoes shall be judged only by shoemaker, don't you think? I, Lipitan, am here to open your hearts now and forever, to feel love in all of us once for all. In return, you are engaged to inscribe the unique knowledge and traditional practices related to my well-being into UNESCO representative list of intangible cultural heritage of humanity. I'm trustful, I'm kind, I'm loving, daring, I'm determined, I'm royal, I'm friendly, I'm self-reliant, I'm resilient, I'm powerful, I'm impressive, I'm wild, I'm enough, I'm your partner. I'm your protector. Are you my dear friend? Freedom of choice leads us all to foundation of truth, integrity, dignity, respect, love, and peace. Thank you, Lipitsans, for bringing me back home where my soul is born, where my heart is open, and where I dare to dream of future world peace 2030. All is possible when I surrender and believe. For this I have to know myself, don't you think? You leave me breathless seeing your impressive arrival, elegant moves, seducive dance, your silky white beautiful hair, your self-confidence, humbleness and gratitude. The biggest part of me you will never see, you will only feel it.
Truly yours with love, Lipitsana Ambassador, Alenka Slavinets. Thank you.